Hey, what's up guys? Rome here from Team Duel League. Um, you guys have been requesting a deck profile with the Mecha Phantom Beast. Um, post, uh, what was a new set? The Judgment of the Light. So we have our new support. Um, I'm going to start off basically with the uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Deader Wolf. He's basically the uh, normal summon. And then you get a token, uh, automatic level 7. All of them gain level except for the tuners. But he's a normal summon that he summons a, uh, a token right away. So that's one um, a set of uh, Mega Raptor. He's basically when a token is summoned, you s you summon a token, and then he's basically your gear frame. Uh, he searches by tributing token. Uh, now one of the new guys is basically um, Harley Uh He is actually amazing. If a to if a monster is tributed, um, except by his effect, uh, you can special summon a token that triggers Raptor again. Special summon a token after you search and uh, all of them are mandatory effect uh, all of them gain level again so he keeps generating token too um, after activating another monster effect so you you still keep the token so he's he's a good um, basically kinda keep your token alive um, I do I do still like playing um, a set of falcon uh, he's basically your defense and if you don't really need him you search him to for to use him as a level level four um for synchro for the tuner, so most of the Mega Phantom Beasts play a set of each because they're never really dead because of this guy. Uh, he's one of my favorites now. Uh, the tuner, basically, you, he's an eccentric boy. You summon him, and then from from there you can use him as a tuner. You can only use him as a synchro uh, for a machine monster, and then um the other the other uh, materials for synchro has to be a mega phantom beast but i mean it's that's what the deck is for you summon conqueruda so those are the uh, mega phantom beast um i am playing basically this guy too but i'm right now i'm citing it because i'm testing a couple of cards but uh meaning one of him is actually really amazing just to make the stardust uh scrap dragon or crimson blader uh but the deck's basically main weakness is uh evil swarm because you try and special summon high level monster too because we play um, Tempest so basically our dragons we play um, a set of Tempest basically uh, it's it's a dragon ruler they're pretty much broken level level 7's um, I do play a set of lightning um, I don't play two this is not a dragon ruler deck I, s I play a set because if you open up with him and then you can gold sark either the Tempest or the debris dragon so, um, he uh, lightning is a uh, is your father for debris dragon, and like I showed you guys in a crazy combo. Uh, if you guys want to watch a uh, video, go ahead. Um, search for for that crazy combo for Mecha Phantom Beast. There's a lot of combo with debris dragon and lightning. Uh, you make ancient fairy dragon and then summon your Mecha Phantom Beast for first first turn place. So those are your dragons. Um, for non non dragon machine. Uh, we do have the set of Valor, uh, Valor's Valor, and it's a level 1 tuner, so you can summon a Tempest, and then summon this for Crimson Blader, Scrap Dragon, or Stardust. Um, for the spell, obviously, Limiter Removal, it's a uh, staple for all machine decks, well, I mean, for me, um, Monster Reborn, staple, Book of Moon, I, I love Book of Moon, um, Dark Hall, Heavy Storm and the Double Typhoon. I played Double Typhoon. Um, I side back row destruction still because I mean there's uh, the meta right now. They don't really play that much back row. So, but there's still some like Evil Swarm. Um, the, uh, some players are playing Rabbit still. It's like uh, kind of decks like those that loves back row. So I still side those. Uh, double Gold Sark. Again, this is not a dragon ruler, so you only need two gold shark. Um, if you ran out of targets, you basically just kind of gold shark reborn, um, like the one ofs, the staple. Uh, these are these two are my basically tech choices. Uh, these two are were the supposed to be the war blue ran and the aerial charge. Basically, this one. Um, I play one now, but right now I'm testing this. This is amazing. If you guys don't know what it do, it's it's a uh, what do you call this? From Judgment of the Light, if there's a face-up exceed monster in the field with a synchro monster as its exceed material, 
target one card in the field, banish that target, and if you do, draw one card. So this is a really good offense and defense card. Basically, if against um against let's say Dragoonity or uh, what do you call this? Heretics. If there's an exceed that has a synchro uh, under it or a material, and you just banish one card. That's the only requirement for activating this card. And then after that, you draw a card. So this is really amazing. Plus, it's a quick play. Uh, like I said, you play Ancient Fairy Dragon, then you make Draco Sack. So you always you you yourself. You don't really have to rely on opponent. I'm just saying that because it's a good um, like defense card too. But offensive, you have a Draco Sack with Ancient Fairy Dragon, or you have a Draco Sack with a Conqueruda in the bottom. So because you you exceed with your synchros as well. Um, against Karakuri, this is good against. Or if you guys are playing Karakuri, you guys can play this. This is an amazing card. I'm testing it out right now, and it so far it's doing really good. Um, for the traps, I'm only playing the one aerial charge. I cut it down to one just to test out the the black and white, and I'm playing triple fiendish chain. Um, this format, I mean, there's really no typhoon, so like really less people are playing typhoon. So fiendish chain is amazing. And plus, I would actually play Breakthrough Skills in replacement of Fiendish Chain. But sometimes having that one token, uh, kind of letting that one token survive really saves you. Uh, especially like if you have a setup of Mega Phantom Beast, two tokens, and a Conqueruda. And you try and protect Conqueruda with Fiendish Chain. Uh, that's that's just amazing. Because Conqueruda protects the token, the token protects Draco Sack. So, the, that's the whole deck. I'm um, show you guys the extra deck. So I do have like the tokens, just showing off. Um, I do play double Draco sack. I cut down to two because I'm trying to find like other outs. Uh, basically, you don't want your opponent to just know that you're only playing Draco sack. I mean, the deck, the deck revolves around him. Uh, but you want to find like other outs too, um, like big eye. I play one big eye because I really don't want to go into a big eye war. I cut down to one just there's there's just so much other plays that you can do instead of just going with the big eye war um uh, master master blades um if you're against like dragons it's better going with the master blades instead of going to another big eye uh so those are my rank 7 i'm actually i might think about uh my synchros i might think about having stardust as the third draco sack but i'm still testing that out so far it's really good as as it is um so those are your rank 7 uh rank 4 I took Lightning Chidori out and then I put it back. Um, I found myself looking for this one, just trying to summon it. Uh, Lightning Chidori is amazing. Uh, plus, it's a wind that you can banish for Tempest. Um, Utopia, just in case you big eye uh, level 4 or you mind control a level 4 and then exceed with it. Mind control a Thunder King and then exceed with it. Uh, things like that. So, so he's just like your generic rank 4. Uh, Gear Gigant X, because they're all, they're all machine. Um, I know they gain level, but most of the time you can tri distribute the tokens to adjust their levels to become 4. Um, and I play 1 rank 10, because uh, it's easy to go to a rank 10. Uh, I was playing Gustav Max, and it's it's really amazing. I can't say anything bad about Gustav Max. But right now I'm just testing out Sky Palace, uh, Gangare Dai, because it's a wind. You can banish it for Tempest after you're done, and it's a destruction. So... If you need to bait out like something bottomless or finish chain, anything like that, um, they they can use it on this guy because you're gonna try and pop a card anyways. So a lot of and then it's a minus a thousand if you pop a card. If it goes off, it's great. If it doesn't, you bait it out. Plus its attack is 34. So if you don't want to pop a card, you just want to go for a direct attack, just attack with it. So I'm testing this out uh, mainly because it's a wind and the effect instead of damaging 2000 you basically kinda do a safe play with this um, for the synchro I play one scrap dragon it's amazing with the combo with um, Draco Sack keep targeting Draco Sack with a token so it doesn't get destroyed and then Draco Sack keeps distributing a token to to pop a card so uh, Crimson Blader just to kinda stun your opponent from level 5 or higher uh, one Stardust again the Stardust is amazing but I'm thinking about sw swapping it out with another Draco sack. So far, it's just giving me the the third option for uh, for a level eight. 
Um, for level sevens, this these are the most important levels. This or synchro for me, the black rose dragon to just blow up the whole field and then, um, and then go on with your place. Ancient fairy dragon has a lot of place. Uh, I actually thought about just making two ancient fairy dragon instead of ancient fairy and black rose, but I do need black rose most of the time too. And I do play the double conqueruda. Uh, even though I have a set of uh, a set of Impala, it's just nice to have double Conqueruda. Uh, you don't really go into the third one, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, this, these two are fine. So, yeah, those are the. Um, that's the extra deck. I'm not sure if you guys want to see the the side. I mean, I, that's that just depends on your locals or whatever you're competing against. Like I said, I'm citing this right now because I'm t testing out the the black and white wave. Um, this is a machine monster, and I just like this guy, uh, Spell Canceler. Since I play Fiendish Chain too, it's kind of hard to get rid of him because they try to attack him. Um, I have Fiendish Chain, or most of the time I have the Black Falcon to keep protecting him because he has an 18 attack. Just prevent monsters or uh, against spell books or anything that spell heavy, it works. So those are my monsters so far. I mean, I've been changing my side. It depends just how I feel. Um, two creature swap. Uh, I do feel bad for play people who play like big monster and then I just swap them with a token. But well, that's that's Yu-Gi-Oh for them. So I do play creature swap. Uh, mind control. Um, there's just so many good plays. If you're if you're just good at good at timing how to play mind control, you just don't waste it. It's it's an amazing card. But I do cite it because a lot of people play Exceed and then it's not really useful for you. So just depends on the deck you're playing. Um, this is basically my kind of thing to the uh, Evil Swarm uh, Night Beam because I can basically destroy their their Ophion and all. Uh, it's just Pandemic is just saving them. So um, I try to Night Beam it. Uh, most of the time you can try and read your opponent like which one's night being or which one's a pandemic and which one's not so it just depends on how you can read your opponent uh, double vanities emptiness um, I'm just testing this out trying to see if it's gonna work because uh, I mean vanity is vanity it's just broken uh, I'm citing the compose uh, for just uh, compose compose most of my side deck I don't really cite for certain decks but it's just like generic if it if opponents monster heavy like there's no back row all citing compulse like dragons something like that and the, this card is gonna be X, xyz encore but if you guys can't find xyz encore these are so easy to find heraldry record um if an exceed monster's effect as is activated um detaching from its own material you negate the activation and you destroy it so and it's a counter trap so like things like ophion if they detach the surge and you have this set, it's gonna destroy it right away. Uh, if you have a, if your opponent has a Draco sack, detach summon tokens. You can herald your record it and then destroys right away. Um, just the fact that it's a counter trap, it that really helps. A big eye detached from itself, herald herald your record it, and that that's just amazing. So, yeah, um, that's basically the whole deck profile. Um, hope you guys like it. Let me know your uh, feedback comment subscribe uh, tell me if you guys have any suggestion I'm open I've been fixing the deck too so far it's really doing amazing so if you guys want to test it out feel free peace out